Good morning, all of you. So, what is our chapter name? What we are studying now presently? Work cut. Yes, please. Work as well as energy. And I also told you, what is the one more concept we are going to study in this chapter? That is only called as power. So now, as we already discussed uh, what is work in our last class and as well as what is the factors on which the amount of work depends on, if you'll notice it, so when we can say, of course, in a general life, we can use the work for physically and as well as mentally, but if you have taken according to the physics when we can say work is come work is done or work what is the reason when we can say guys everybody only when we apply the force and the displacement is taking place means object is uh, producing the displacement then only we can say the work is set to be done or we will say work is done so now the two important conditions for which the work set to be done. The first condition is, first the force must be applied. Second one is, a displacement must be taking place. So these are the two things which we studied in the last class. Is it yes or no guys? If you are not responding, then there is no use. So that is why we will say, these are the two important conditions for the work to be done. That is what, whatever it is, if you have taken any kind of work, if I'll say work is done in the physics, means definitely force should be applied and the displacement must be shown by the body in the same direction of force. Same direction of force. So that is what we used to say, work is done. Now. Can you give me the, any examples of work done, please, in our daily life? For example, now you are doing something. You are, you are listening the class. Is it called as a work done? Anybody? According to the physics? For everybody? I want response. Now you are writing, you are writing, uh, uh, you are writing in our classwork. Is it said to be work is done? All of you? You have written, suppose, 10 pages notes. Is it said to be work is done? I want the answer. Nobody is ready to answer. When we can say work is set to be done? Abhirami, Akilan, speak something at least. All of you. Suppose I eat the book. Is it a work is done, Mr. Harish? Mithachri? What happened to the people? I don't know. Is there anyone in meeting at least? I speak with you only. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And why no sound? Yes, I'm asking you only, correct? Right? So I'm lifting the book. Is it work is done or not? I'm asking you people. I'm lifting the book and placing in the table. Is it work is done? Yes, sir. Yes, so I'm pulling the table. Is it done? Yes, sir. Yes. So if you want to say that work is done, means it must be having a two factors. One is the force must be exerted on the body, and also the displacement of the body must be shown. So that is what we can say. Work is said to be done when a force is applied on a body and the body moves in the, which direction guys? That is also most important. Which direction? Same direction of force. Then we can say work is set to be done. So that is why we will say the factors on which the amount of work is depends. The first factor is magnitude of force. What do you mean by magnitude of force, everybody? Magnitude of force means, means if I apply the more force, then more work is done. If I apply the less force, less force is done. So that is what the magnitude of force is directly proportional to amount of work done. If the force is increases, then the work done also increases. If the force is decreases, then the work done also decreases. 
So that is what the first factor of which the amount of work done depends. You also take the notes. I want the good notes because then only people will show the improvement. Okay. If the force is increases, then work done also increases. If the force is decreases, work done also decreases. So for example, I'm having a one person. So now for example, I am a one hitting with him 10 Newton force. If I increase 10 become 10 times 100 Newton force. Now tell me in which case more work is done. In which case this person will fall more far distance. Everybody. Yes, please. 100 Newton, 100 Newton case. 100 Newton. The force is increases more. For example, if I'll kick the football with the 10 Newton force, it may travel one meter distance. Now, same football, if I multiply uh, 10 times and if I kick 100 Newton force, then what is the distance traveled by this body? Everybody, it will travel how much distance? One meter means 100 meter. At 10 meters, it will be at 10 meters. Understanding? So, means force is increasing so that it will take work done. Work done also increases or not? Everybody? Yes or no? Yes. That is what? So, force is directly proportional to work done. If amount of force is increases, amount of work done also increases. Next. Second one. Displacement of the body displacement of the body what is the symbol for displacement mr kaushik symbol for displacement distance or displacement what is the symbol amma that's right yes yes is the symbol for distance or displacement from the first chapter you were studying mr kaushik till today you don't know the symbol displacement of the body he will represent with the yes or distance also. So the force is directly proportional to displacement of the body or distance, sorry, force not, work done. Work done is directly proportional to displacement or distance traveled by the body in the direction of force applied. So suppose I have taken a two balls. Now one person kicked this ball and another person also kicked this ball with the same force, 10 Newton force and 10 Newton force. Now this body is traveled two meters and this body is traveled four meters. Now tell me where more work is done, everybody? Yes, please. More work is done, where it is said to be more work is done. All of you? Two meters. Yes, because if you have taken here, the body is traveling only less distance, two meters. But here the body is traveling four meter distance. Here, if you notice, who is remains constant? Abhirami, Akilan, who is remains constant here? Check it, everybody. Who is remains constant? Force. Applied force is remains constant, but the traveled distance is varying. So, in this case also, work is said to be done. If distance traveled or displacement traveled by the body is greater, then apply the work done is also increases. If the distance traveled by the body is decreases, then work done is also decreases. So that is what we will say. Two factors affecting the magnitude of a force or work done, we will say one is magnitude of the force and the second one is displacement of the body. Is there anybody having any doubt? Please let me know. Are you clear, guys? Yes, Arish? Yes, sir. Arun, anything doubt? Okay. Now, let us see work done by a, a constant horizontal force if i am applying then how much it will be done so yesterday even we have formed the formula also for work done so can you tell me what is the work done formula work done is equals to everybody formula work done is equals to what is a product of two things one is force and the second one is what guys second one is what this 
that is what we have been done in the last class so work done is equals to force into displacement so if you will write the symbols work is equals to say, the symbol of work done is w and the force symbol is f and displacement symbol is s so uh, now you tell me is it a vector quantity or scalar quantity anybody can tell harish anyone vector no you can check it maybe displacement is there you can say vector quantity but you can check it hurry first to tell me plus into plus what will come mithakshri plus only minus into minus also will get what plus but plus into minus everybody what will come minus minus now here you might remember displacement is having a particular direction but force does not have direction do you understand hari are you clear yes sir so a displacement of the body in the direction of force so that is why we will say so this is maybe a vector quantity but this is a scalar quantity so scalar into vector if you will multiply finally again what you will get everybody what quantity will come all of you scalar quantity only remember work done does not have direction it has only magnitude only magnitude it is having but is not having any direction that is why only magnitude and no direction so that is why we will say what what is the quantity vector quantity or scalar quantity all of you it is the scalar quantity no direction is mentioned work is done in any direction we cannot mention particular direction so that is why mr aswin understanding aswin tanishka mr nimesh so only we will say only it has magnitude no direction is mentioned that is why it is called as scalar quantity all of you remember that unit of work no, sorry work work done formula w is equals to force into displacement or force into distance all of you should write any doubt in this mitakshri clear so w is equals to what is the formula force into distance or force into displacement mr kaushik s means distance or displacement remember how many times you have been done now let us come to all of you keep heading units of work done i will teach you today a little bit different also cg system also i will teach please learn it it will definitely will help you in the uh, coming classes units of work done abirami anything doubt clear now yes. you know that unit of work done if you have taken we will get a unit of force and unit of distance or displacement so unit of work done is equals to unit of force into unit of displacement can you tell me who will be say the unit of force and unit of displacement everybody unit of displacement mr aswin what is the unit of force all of you newton unit of force is newton what is the unit of displacement is a kaushik meter so that is only the newton meter is the unit of work done please write it the unit of work done is newton meter newton into meter okay but you can see it has been given with another name with the honor of the scientist mr james prescott jewel with the name of with the honor of his name we can say because he has been found this one so that is why with the honor of his name what is the unit of work done everybody unit of work done is equals to what all of you yes a unit of work if you have taken is joule because of the scientist name called as James Prescott Joule. We have chosen the name unit of work is Joule. Our work done is Joule. 
So if I'll say one joule is equals to, all of you remember, one joule is equals to one newton into one meter. That is the meaning of one joule. Clear? So I will write like this. One joule is equals to one newton into one meter. So can you tell, can you define anybody? What do you mean by joule? Hari, Pitakshri, Akilan, can you define what is joule? Now, all of you, suppose, let me consider this is the ball or something. If I apply one meter, one newton force on it, so it will travel how much distance, guys? It will travel how much distance, Mr. Noor? It will travel how much distance? Check it and tell me. Here it is there. One meter. One meter. Understanding? If I if I apply the force of one newton, if on any body, if due to that force, if it is travel, how much distance? All of you. If it will travel one meter distance, Mr. Kaushik, please leave from the meeting. There is no use of you to attend. Don't come to my classes. So, if any body traveling one meter distance due to applying of one newton force, then what is the work is said to be done? How many joules of work is done? Everybody? One joule. One joule of work is done. Understanding? If one newton force is applied, one meter distance is traveled by a body, then we can say the work is said to be one joule. They will ask you the question, define one joule. Can you tell me what is the sentence, everybody now? What is joule? The amount of work done when how many Newton's forces happen? Everybody. One Newton force is displacing a body by one meter in its direction, then it is said to be one joule. That is what you have to remember. Write it. Define one joule. So whenever you are getting the joule, you can write Newton and meter, but it is only for work done. Please remember, work or work done is Newton meter, Newton into meter. That is what we can say. One Newton into meter is equals to one joule. Remember it. Right. Take the notes also. I will check it. Everybody's. Now, define one joule. Right. One joule as the amount of work done. One joule. One joule as the as the amount of work done. Amount of work done when one newton force when. One Newton force, when one Newton force displaces how much distance? Harish, one Newton force displaces a body by one meter. One meter in its direction then that is what we used to set to be one joule. So all of you should remember, one joule means how much guys? Everybody, one joule is equals to what? Tell me uh, why I should shout, keep on shouting. One joule is equals to what? One, one newton, newton into one meter. One meter. So whenever you are getting one joule, in place of joule, you can write one newton into meter. Write it. This is what, what is Joule? Aswin understand? Noor? Nimesh? Yes, sir. Now, this is the smaller unit of work done. For example, you have taken like big, big equipments and all. There will be missionaries and all. They are doing heavy, heavy work. So then how we will represent? So that is what in a larger units of work done will represent in kilojoules. So if you have taken one kilojoule, all of you observe bigger units, one kilojoule is equals to, will basically represent small k and capital J, which is equals to thousand joules. So thousand in the form of powers, anybody tell me fastly, thousand in the form of powers, how I can say? 
Three joules. That is what it is. Now, more bigger units. If I have taken, that is what mega joules. We will say so. Mega joule will represent with the capital M, capital J, which is equals to six zeros. So six zeros means how much? One lakh, one lakh joules. One lakh or ten lakh? Thousand into thousand. 10 lakh joules, which is equals to 10 power 6 joules. So these are the bigger units of work or work done. So this is what unit, guys? SI unit or CGS unit, joule. I have told you already. Just now we have written. What is this unit? SI. SI. SI unit of work done is joule. Or instead of joule, what we can write? Everybody. Instead of joule, what we can write? Newton, Newton meter. Newton meter. Okay. What do you mean by SI, everybody? What do you mean by SI? Standard international. Standard international units. SI means standard international unit. Standard international. Now, for any kind of quantity, we will study two kinds of units. Can you tell me what is the two kinds of other units? One is SI, another unit is what? CGS. Unit. Understanding? So, CGS, what do you mean by CGS full form? Mr. Kaushik? No response. That is the answer. Very good. Centimeter, all of you, CGS means what? Centimeter gram second. How many times I have told centimeter gram second? CGS system. So if you have taken CGS system, all of you, the CGS unit of work is yerg. This is the most important one. Even you will get the similar questions even in uh, Olympiads and all. So the CGS unit of work, work is yerg. E R G yerg. Harish. For you also new it is without say also everybody's please learn this we can future will get it energy also unit is here work also it is so what is the cgs unit everybody yes please here understand Amma? now sir how it will come if you have taken again force formula what is the force formula sir? what is the work done formula everybody work done is equals to what work done is equals to Force into displacement. Force into displacement. Now, if you have taken, what is the CGS unit I said? Just now I said, what is the CGS unit? Here. What is the CGS unit of work done? That is here. Understand everybody? So, one here is equals to, you might remember I have taught you sometime, you might be checking, what is the CGS unit of force? Harish? Understanding? Dying and as well as what is the CGS unit of distance or displacement? Everybody, <laughs> so one year is equals to one dying into one centimeter. That is only called as CGS system of unit. So, according to this, define one year. Let me see who will define out of you all. Define one year, Mr. Danishkar Akilan. Arun Kailash, no response. Don't ask me, sir. I cannot answer. Define one erg, everybody. So if you have taken any kind of body, how much force is applied? All of you. How much force is applied? One, one time force is applied and the body is displacing how many how much distance? All of you. One, one, one centimeter distance. Then which is equals to how much work done? How much work? One one arm that is what it is so please write one erg is the work done one arg is the work done work done by the force by the force of one dime by the force of one dime in displacing a body in displacing a body how many centimeters, guys? How many centimeters? This body by one centimeter 
displacing a body by 1 cm is called one area. Clear everyone? All of you? Anything now? In this you can ask. Clear? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, let us uh, come to here. Right, all of you. Relationship between, relationship between, or relation between SI and CGS system of work or work done. So, what is the SI system? What is the SI unit, everybody? What is the SI unit? Yes, please. What is the SI unit I'm asking? SI unit of work, everybody. Joules. Joules. And what is the CGS unit? Year. So, let us discuss one joule is equals to dash year. Okay? Now, observe, one joule means we can write something. Can you tell me what do you mean by joule, everybody? Formula. Just now we are written in place of joule, what we can write? I told you. One newton. One newton into one meter. Okay? Now remember, we all know that one meter is equal to how many centimeters? All of you. 100 centimeters. Same way, one newton is equal to, remember, 10 power 5 dynes. Means 1 lakh dynes. All of you remember that. 1 lakh dynes is equal to 1 newton. Okay, Harish? Mithachri? So, one joule is equal to one newton. In place of one newton, I can write one lakh. One lakh dine. Next, in place of one meter, how much I can write, guys? One meter equals how many centimeter? 100 centimeter. Understanding? So, now one lakh into 100, if I have done, how many zeros will come? Everybody, seven zeros will come. That is what? Dine into centimeter. One dine into one centimeter, I can write. So, one seven zeros means, can I write 10 power seven? Right or wrong? With actually, yes. And we know that one dine into one centimeter equals to how many years, guys? How many years? Nobody will answer. How many years? One year. So, in place of this, I will replace with the year so that it will turn into year. So, one joule is equal to how many years? All of you? Harish? One joule is power seven. 10 power 7 years. So, please do it. Clear everybody? One joule is equal to 10 power 7 years. Any doubt anyone can ask? Completed guys? Anything doubt? That's three. No doubt, sir. Okay. Now, next what we are going to study is a very, very important one. So, you might be studying in mathematics trigonometry. Can you all remember anybody? Is it started? Not it started. Is it S? Is it started or not? Yes. Yes. No, hurry. That's fine. Okay. Now, I will ask you one question to tell me exactly. For example, this is what my car. All of you observe very carefully. This is what my car. 
Now I want to see the displacement in this car without uh, starting. Now you tell me what is the ways you have to apply the force to see the displacement in this car? Anybody? I want the answer from you all. I want to see the displacement in this car. So what are the ways I need to apply the force? Anyone? Mr. Akilan? Push or push? Yes. Either I can push, I can apply the force from this side. Can I apply it or not? Everybody? If I will try to apply the force in this direction, definitely I will see that there is some displacement. Or I can apply the force in the, from this side. Then also I can apply the direct displacement. Is it right or wrong, Hari? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, suppose if I apply the force from this direction, is it possible to see the any displacement? I want the answer. All of you? Actually, I'm applying the force perpendicularly to the surface. Now, is it possible to see the any displacement in the car? That is what my question. All of you? No, sir. Anyone? Others? If I am applying the force perpendicularly to the surface, is it possible to see the displacement? That is what my question I am asking you. Is it possible? This one, yeah. Nobody? Okay. Now, for example, you have taken, this is my tie car. Let me check it. Now, I am tying a rope here and I, I'm a boy is standing here. Now, I want to pull this car towards to me. Now, tell me what is the way I have to pull the car? I, I, am, I am having a rope. Now, for example, I will I will tie, uh, pull the rope like this exactly. So, the car will come front or not, everybody? Forward or not? Yes or no? Nobody will answer. I will pull the car in the same direction, straight line. Is the car will come forward or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, suppose if I apply the force exactly in this direction, is it possible to see the displacement in the car? Anybody? I am applying perpendicularly to the surface. Is it possible to see no, the displacement? All of you? Any no, object no, applying the force perpendicularly to the surface, I cannot see the displacement. Now, you might be remember a person suppose who is pulling or pushing the car you can see suppose now i have tied the rope and i have given to this boy that boy is trying to pull the car now he is applying the force exactly parallel to the car or always he will apply the force in some inclination anybody can tell how he will apply the force all of you he will apply the force in this direction is it yes or no Everybody, he will try to pull like this. Suppose he will put the rope under the in his shoulders and he will try to drag like this so that the, the car will start moving forward direction. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So that is what you will notice. Eh? If you want to see the displacement in the any kind of body, all of you should remember. If you notice in our H and book, you'll be having one diagram. The diagram I will show you. So all of you, if you want to see the displacement in any kind of body, you need to apply the force in a body always either parallel to the surface or with some inclination, not perpendicularly. If you apply the force perpendicularly to the surface, is it possible to see the displacement? Everybody? If I apply the force perpendicularly to the surface, is it possible to see the displacement? That is what I am asking. No, sir. No, no sir. So that is you have to remember it. So, two ways I can apply the force uh, so that I can see the displacement. What is the two ways I can apply the force, everybody? One is at an angle or horizontally I can apply. So, that is the two ways where I can apply the force to see the displacement in the body. So that is what you can notice, all of you, if you are having a chance book, you can open page number 130, 
133 you can check it that is the most important concept so that is what uh, i am uh, i am trying to say now you can notice the boy in the picture all of you observe very carefully now how this boy is pulling the car you can see that he is dragging the car real life photo you can you can see that he is dragging the car so that he is applying the force exactly parallel to the surface or with the some inclination check it everybody i love you how he is applying the force he is applying the force with the some inclination see that this is the surface and the force is applying in this direction so that the car is uh, he is noticing the pull uh, sorry displacement in the car but he apply perpendicularly is it possible to see any kind of displacement that is what my question let it be the pdf will come just wait if we, if i apply the force perpendicularly to the surface is it possible to see the any displacement in the car that is what i am asking the question all of you raise no sir no means perpendicularly means exactly here if i apply the force here then no no displacement in the car then in this case what is the work done anybody can tell what is the work done no displacement what is the work done in this case zero sir zero joules understanding so work done by a force acting always you can see either i can pull the body in this horizontally or obliquely obliquely means with some angle so the boy is applying the force you can see the direction of force is in this direction and he is applying the force in a particular angle that angle is definitely between all of you remember between 0 to okay 0 to 90 only of course you can take 180 also 180 means it is exactly opposite plane surface that is what 180 angle we can say so the force applied on the body to see the displacement it must be varies from 0 to 90 degrees if 90 degrees 90 degrees means exactly perpendicular then what is the work done mithakshri if the force is applied perpendicularly to the surface then what is the work done 90 degrees work done is equal to zero joules so that is why the force applied by a person to see the displacement must be applied in the particular ob obliquely means angle between 0 to 90 degrees that is what you have to remember so then only we can see the displacement in the body so the meeting is going to end join back so it will solve again this one so that uh, you will understand very clearly so how to find work done when we are applying the force with some obliquely we will uh, find it by applying the mathematics we will uh, we'll learn the formula now okay so now